I'm Shrek.com here and today we're taking a look at Train Sim 15. This is a great train simulator if you want to get into the real uh, workings of a train. Uh, this is probably the best way to do it on your iPhone. So jumping straight into the game we've got two different options to choose from. We have the people train and we've got the freight train. Uh, these two are the classic uh, types of trains and uh, really it doesn't make much of a difference except for the kind of uh, stuff you see behind the train. So if we tap the people train we'll be able to choose from different kinds of trains. Uh, just use the arrows to navigate between trains. Uh, so this is the basic train that you start with and then if you play the game a little bit more and gain experience you will start unlocking these trains. Uh, so this is the last one that we have unlocked and if you gain more experience you can unlock some of the faster, better, uh, more agile trains as you see here. And there's a couple of trains that are uh, coming soon that you'll see at the end here. Like this is a pretty cool train. And so is this one. So let's go ahead and select the fastest train that we currently have which is uh, this big yellow one. Just tap select and you'll jump straight into the map selection. There's tons of maps to choose from like United Kingdom, Romania, uh, USA, Germany, Portugal, France, and Canada. So tons of different places and tons of different conditions. You could choose uh, from snow, fog, rain, uh, just clear open skies. And you could also select uh, nighttime mode or the daytime mode. So I'm going to go with daytime mode and uh, going to select the clear conditions. Or actually maybe snow because we're in Canada, why not? Uh, let's go ahead and tap start. So this will jump straight into uh, the train. You could use your finger to pan the camera around. Left and right will pan, up and down will sort of shift the camera up and down. You also have the option uh, to uh, navigate between train carts. Let's just go ahead and start the train by sliding uh, the slider up as you see the speed will start going up and uh, like I mentioned you could move between carts as you can see we are navigating between uh, the some of the last ones and some of the train carts at the beginning so here we're looking at the last train cart we could go to the very front by sliding the slider up just like so and you could pan around and choose the camera angle you like or if you decide to uh, tap this camera button, you could select a different view. So this is kind of the first person view of the train here. We're gonna miss our stop here. Well, I'll come back to that in a little bit, but for now, we'll just explore some of the controls. And um, if you tap it again, you'll go back to the train, and this will let you uh, just set the camera uh, that you wish to use. And there's different controls for horns and bells. For example, if we hold down the horn. I'm not sure if you could hear it, but that's the horn and this is the bell. Also, if you decide to stop the train, you could simply use the slider to move it into the brake zone. As you can see, if we let go, we'll jump back to kind of this neutral mode. So if we hold down the slider, at the very bottom it will apply the brakes. Uh, just as easily you could go into reverse mode if you missed your train stop you could simply slide the slider up once you're stopped and the train will start moving backwards. So that's basically your controls it's uh, very simple and the idea is to stop at uh, a different train stops and pick up your passengers um, as, as you saw before there was a designated stopping area that we missed so let's go ahead and just jump out of this jump into the main menu and we will go into a freight train, select the same kind of train, and we'll choose a different map this time. Let's go to the USA and we'll choose clear skies. So there we go, let's slide the slider up, start moving the train. So for this train ride we've selected the freight train and as you can see our train carts have been replaced by uh, lots of freight. So freight trains in nature, they're longer than passenger trains. So if you move back all the way to the end of the train, you'll see that there's many, many more carts and they're carrying what what appears to be uh, coal of some kind. So this is really the main difference between the freight trains and the passenger trains. So 
So right now we're getting closer to our destination. As you can see on the clock, we have about 28 seconds until we arrive. So we could start preparing for the train arrival. We could rotate the camera to position, uh, to position the camera so that we could see where to park the train. Uh, what we're looking for is the blue uh, square that's usually highlighted uh, at the train station. So simply grab the slider and start slowing down when it's time. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like we've actually reached our destination on time, so the time is actually negative and it's in red. Um, but uh, as you can see, uh, it appears to be that uh, our destination is up ahead uh, where those, uh, where that blue square is right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the distance. So line up the camera and get ready to park the train. Uh, simply slide the slider down and to slow it down. And when you get closer to the blue square, apply the brakes and everything should go smoothly. Uh, in real life, it takes quite a lot longer to stop the train, but here it stops almost on the dime, so uh, it, it's relatively easy to park the train. And once you complete the route, you could either restart it or go back to the main menu. And we'll jump back to the main menu right now. And that more or less concludes Train Sim 15 for iOS. Pretty cool game to experience trains on iPhone. Go ahead and check it out on the App Store.